This is your Weather Extreme video for Sunday, December the 16th. I'm meteorologist Brian Peters. Thanks for tuning in. Before we get to the active weather we expect, let's take a look at the temperature trace from my temperature uh, gauge at uh, Helena. And sort of an interesting pattern here. Uh, climbed nicely during the day yesterday up to a nice high around 63 degrees. Began to fall, but notice it flattened out as that strong southerly wind kicked in keeping temperatures up. This morning, we're dealing with a line of thunderstorms stretching from about Chattanooga down to uh, near Columbus, Mississippi. Uh, the line is not making much progress eastward or southeastward, but individual storms along that line are moving rapidly to the northeast. And um, my concern here is that we'll see a training situation. So we may be developing or, or need to be watching for a flash flood situation. It's a rather convoluted and complex looking uh, surface pattern, but uh, needless to say, the main players here are that we have a front off to our north and northwest. We have abundant low-level moisture uh, as seen by the very mild temperatures. And in addition to that, in the upper atmosphere, we have a significant trough that will be coming out of the southern Rockies. That trough will be producing two um, rounds of weather for us. Uh, the first one ongoing now, and that will go through the afternoon, and then we we'll, should see another one later uh, this evening and into early hours of Monday. Now, again, temperatures very, very mild, a little cooler in the northeast sections where they're in the upper 50s, but uh, 64 at Tuscaloosa, and that is, again, a morning temperature. Looking at the bigger picture of radar, you can see that uh, actually the whole um, line extends from the southern Appalachians across uh, northwest Alabama, across northern Mississippi into northern Louisiana and to east Texas. Storm Prediction Center has a uh, severe thunderstorm watch in effect for parts of Louisiana and uh, southeast Texas for uh, this morning. And the SPC is out looking a slight risk, generally from about Tuscaloosa southwestward uh, to Baton Rouge and the Louisiana Gulf Coast. That slight risk area extends on day two from about uh, Dothan up into the southeast corner of uh, North Carolina, so across parts of Georgia and South Carolina. All right, let's take a look at what's happening uh, first in the upper atmosphere. Uh, this is for today, uh, this afternoon. And here comes that uh, one piece of energy out of the trough, but a little bit hanging back. By this uh, this evening, uh, by midnight tonight, we can see that that first one is moved up into the Great Lakes. And here comes the second one. And uh, then if we look at tomorrow, uh, that second one is coming across the Mississippi River. Now let's look at a little bit more detail here. This is a low cape, uh, high shear environment. So we, you know, it's one of those that's not the easiest to forecast. But there's a look at the cape values for uh, tonight at midnight. And uh, you can see that they're generally uh, at or below about 500. Uh, a little bit higher down along the Gulf Coast, which is what we were kind of talking about yesterday. 18Z tomorrow, we can see that uh, kind of the second round is uh, where they're talking about day two's weather. We see a little bit higher Cape values uh, along the southern portion of Alabama. And shear is also fairly high. If we look at the bulk shear values, you can see those values are fairly high at uh, uh, zero Z that's 6 p.m. today six uh, by midnight uh, the value is still uh, pretty substantial and then by uh, 18 Z tomorrow uh, the values are uh, diminishing back to the west but we certainly see that the shear values are fairly high so again it looks like the biggest threat is going to come in the form of flash flood potential as well as damaging wind today the second round perhaps we need to add isolated uh, tornadoes as a possibility now getting back to the 06 see GFS model run and there's the map for 18Z or noon on Tuesday and you can see that uh, the trough has moved on out and uh, while we are getting a, a slight northwesterly flow it's certainly not terribly cold 540 line coming down into eastern Kentucky. Switching back to the upper atmosphere on Wednesday, we see we're under a ridge, so it's a beautiful day, but we see the next system coming out of the Southern Rockies. That system comes into the middle Mississippi River Valley on Thursday, so that's likely to produce uh, a nice surface low that'll move up into the vicinity of Chicago and drag a cold front down through the southeastern U.S. and through Alabama on Thursday. So Thursday looks like another potentially wet day. And also it looks like another low cape, perhaps high shear. Hard to find the get the shear values that far out, but uh, certainly the cape values, at least in the vicinity of uh, 750 and below, especially across the southern sections of Alabama. And interesting to note that even though we're out uh, several days, that the European – 
is in pretty good agreement with uh, the GFS. Uh, you know, just a small difference maybe in the center of the low, but certainly a good agreement. So putting the confidence in the forecast for Thursday, uh, you know, pretty high level. That trough quickly uh, moves by as it heads up into southeast uh, Canada. The closed low goes up that way and the uh, trough moves through the mid-Atlantic states. So that should cool things down. Now, yesterday we were talking about the 540 line coming down into uh, North Alabama. It looks like much uh, of the colder air will be shunted a little further to the east. So while we'll cool back down, we may not get quite as cool as we were looking at yesterday. The flow becomes more zonal on the 22nd, Saturday, and then again on the 23rd for Sunday. So it looks like, you know, we kind of have at least a couple of days to settle down and temperatures not uh, probably close to seasonal values. All right, now, going out into voodoo country, here is the 25th. No, no chance of a white Christmas with this pattern. We're under a ridge, so it looks like we'll be dry, but it also looks like we'll be mild. Uh, I don't think we'll be warm, but I think we'll definitely be mild. We do stay in a relatively progressive pattern. As the 27th, we see another substantial trough coming across Oklahoma and the Red River Valley, and then another one. Uh, on the 30th, uh, coming through the flow uh, across the Central Plains states. So definitely a period here of somewhat active weather, at least with a couple of days in between weather systems. Well, thanks for tuning into the Weather Extreme video. James Spann should be back with the next edition first thing on Monday morning. In the meantime, I hope that you have a wonderful day and do keep abreast of the latest weather conditions and uh, have a way to get weather warnings if they're issued. Godspeed. Thank you for trusting us to be your number one source for news in all of central Alabama. In back-to-back -back ratings periods, more people watched ABC 3340 than any other station in Birmingham.